Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Winter is coming sooner than I was wishing for and that also means that my car needs some improvements regarding winter because winter is a very wet season, a lot of ice, a lot of, well, not mud but of course like in the beginning and in the end of winter you have maybe some mud time but it's wet in general and unfortunately in the Tesla I only have those velour floor mat basically and in winter it's just definitely not the right option to have some kind of carpet feeling in your car. Of course it looks nice but in winter it's all gonna just be filled with water and mud and yeah that's just not nice so I have done an investment and it's really an investment because it was a lot of money because I have invested in I think like the most known all-weather mats that are produced in Germany and well here they are ah, to be fair which is like a yeah company that is situated in Hamburg and actually it is exactly the company that I was planning to work before I have decided to basically say goodbye to Germany and just take the risk and move to Sweden. But because I love their way of thinking, I love what they're doing and I was planning to work there, I wanted to support them by investing in them. There's actually another package coming from another company. I will talk about all of that later, but for now, Let's unwrap this first package here from To Be Fair. If you are also interested in checking out accessories or anything, like this is not going to be like a commercial right now, but I'm just mentioning it. The website is called Shop for Tesla. You can also go to To Be Fair and there you find a lot of stuff if you're curious in investing in them. Like quality wise, we're gonna check it out right now. I will be honest with you because this is no sponsoring or whatsoever. Um, yeah, but it is a lot of weight and I was actually surprised how fast they delivered. I ordered last Wednesday night so the order was basically like I don't know like proceeded on Thursday and today is Monday. So the order was here in less than a week. I don't know or did I order on Tuesday? Well it doesn't matter even if it's just Tuesday it didn't take a whole week. Okay so now let's open it up. Okay so I'm really curious while I am unwrapping the package, I used a few seconds to give you an overview of how much I spent for the products that I will be unwrapping now. So as you can see, I have spent 2770 crowns and I saved 480 crowns in total due to using two different codes, News for Tesla and Trust15. And to double check, I have actually made the order on the night of the 24th of September and I got it delivered on the 30th of September. There is no additional wrapping of anything with their mats because they like they brand themselves as being very like climate friendly and also produced in Germany like I already said so they don't really want to do yeah too much of garbage and stuff and here we go so it's really now taking it out and then we're gonna see it. That is the first thing kind of slippery on the back side but that's okay on here it's feeling really nice that is in I guess <laughs> I guess really I don't know but I think this is the thing you're gonna put in the in the lower area of your front uh, trunk so there's like this big space of course and then you have like the smaller one you're gonna see it when I place it in there as of right now like it is not really like thick material so you can see right here it's not too crazy it also has some marks on here that you see that it's not like just 100% perfect but still I think it's okay it's also unfortunately kind of banded I don't know if you can really see it so we're gonna see how that's gonna fit in the car but I think that's not going to be too big like too much of a problem but now here we go to the to the real ones I guess oh yeah wow here we have a quality difference actually so this feels really like minimalistic like not really a thick material it feels like you could rip it basically but now if you take the real mats they feel really nice oh wow yes that is good look at that that is like the driver position the floor mat for the driver and that really feels really really high quality 
it smells a bit like shoes, you know, like the, the area of shoes where it's rubber. But I really have to say that is pretty damn good. I love it. It really, really feels nice. Then we probably, of course, have the, uh, the co-pilot seat, basically, in a Tesla. And that is this one right here. Unfortunately, I just noticed that the label is missing here. There's supposed to be a to be fair label here that is also on the other seat. However, it's missing here. Then we have the, oh, also kind of bended, unfortunately. This is the mat of the frunk, so the front trunk. And I actually see that the label is sticking right there, unfortunately. So maybe I can stick it myself back and we're gonna say just it's going to be fine. I think that is okay, yeah, it works. If you want to be picky, I would say you would probably uh, like talk about that as a problem, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think like we're going to see if it's going to fall out. I'm definitely like talking with them. And if it's not going to fall out, I'm totally fine. But yeah, so this is the frunk mat. And actually I have to say something about it because this one feels cheap again because they are supposed to be cheap. So they have two different types of material. They have like the thick things that I just showed you. And then they have the cheap ones, which are, I think like 200 crowns cheaper. So something around like 20 euros. And I was thinking, should I get the big one? Should I get the cheap one? And I decided for the cheap one because I wanted to first of all see the difference. Well, now I know with the trunk thing that I already showed you, it's also kinda not straight. And I hope it's not going to be too much of a problem, but still like, the reason why I took the cheap one for this is actually because it's the frunk. So I'm not going to be like super careful there. I just want something that is high quality, but still like just protecting the real Tesla material. And therefore this is totally enough. Of course I could have went way cheaper, but with this I feel like I put it in. And especially when I'm going swimming, I have a lot of sand. I always put wet stuff in the frunk and then you have to sand in the car and you have to take like a vacuum because you cannot take it out. Here I can just take it, throw it out, clean. So that is something really nice. That is, that is the reason why I even bought like this thing. And then we have again more valuable for the back seats. Again, of, um, this is made with the better material. Feels really nice again. Um, I'm still kind of curious about this because here you can see it's only half and the other half is right here. So the way it's supposed to be is that you put one over the other, but we're gonna see it when I'm gonna put it in the car and see how much it's gonna fit. But I think that is actually not too bad. And here the labels are also stuck on there. So that there was one that was missing. I put it on there. We're gonna see how much it's gonna stay. Also smell wise, no smell or like really, really not a lot of smell. And the last thing that I bought from them is right here. This thing is, I don't know if you can probably already guess. This is for the back sides of the back seats. Why I bought that? is actually pretty easy to describe. I wanna put that on the back for my camping. So when I'm camping, I'm always, of course, laying on the back sides of the back seats. And sooner or later, something will get dirty there. And if you have like this typical Tesla material, like this carpet material, it's always more annoying to clean it, especially like when you're sleeping there, you lose some hair and hair cleaning up hair in carpets is always annoying in my opinion with this one it's more like a clean surface just vacuum it and then it's going to be clean that's at least what i'm hoping for and that's the big side so that is all that i have ordered from that company today but there's a little bit more in here actually what is that that is some kind of sticky stuff that i have to probably have to put somewhere and that is the instruction manual. So again, to tell you the difference, so the premium stuff that where I said it's high quality, that is made of 100% TPE and the all weather mats are made of 100% LDPE. So, ah, okay. Okay, they also say quick guide in the end. If the mats are bent during transport, please lay them upside down for a while. So I'm gonna do that now. Today is Monday. I'm gonna install those things on Friday. So we're gonna see if it actually helps 
leaving them for five days. For the interior mats, please remove the carpet mats, obviously. For the driver's mat, we supply five Velcro stickers for the premium rubber mats and all weather mats. Four Velcro stickers can be attached as shown in the picture. Attach the final Velcro sticker to the right wall for additional stability. Okay, so they have basically five um, sticky things. Unfortunately, it's only for the driver's position. I would be really happy if I do it for every position, to be honest. Because you know you pay for the whole thing, why just give five? I don't expect that to be really expensive. I'm really, really not thinking that this is expensive. So that is a bit sad, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see. So I'm not, now I'm putting everything down on a good position and then we're gonna see when the next package arrives, but you're gonna see about it later. Two days ago, we emptied out the first package from To Be Fair and now, it's time for the second one. Here it is. This one is from Tessie Supply, which is also a German yeah, store for Tesla accessories and tires and all the other things. So they are shop for Tesla, to be fair, and this they are basically doing the same thing. However, I have ordered the uh, trunk mat from Tessie Supply because of one specific reason, but why should I describe it? We can just unwrap it and as you can already see, the box is kind of tall and very small. So the mat is definitely rolled. We definitely have to put it down to unroll for a few days. Hopefully it's not cracked or anything because I expect not as good quality as on To Be Fair for these, but maybe I'm going to be surprised. Okay, so now with knife in hand, it's time to open up this box. Also here, of course, a short little overview on how much I spent while ordering the last accessories needed. Well, I spent 891 crowns in total, saved 157 crowns using the code SUMMER15. And one little thing that I noticed actually here is that the pages look pretty similar. Don't you think so? Maybe there's a template that is used for pages like these. But now, let's see how the products look in real life. Okay, so now let's put down the thing, because there it is. Here we have our mat. Okay, okay. Ugh. Yes, you can already see. It's unfortunately bented, so I hope it's gonna flatten out when I put it on the ground. Now we make the smell test. No smell, of course rubber, but not like strong smell. And yeah, so that's the trunk mat. I don't know if they produce them themselves or if they are like made in China, but, oh wait, I see actually that there is a dent, unfortunately. Now I made it straight again. Yeah, I really hope this one straightens out over time. I'm gonna leave it on the ground, of course for also two days. Yeah, Friday I'm gonna open it. I hope this is enough time. But why did I choose this mat compared to the one that To Be Fair is offering? Well, there's one thing and I have to implement the picture from the mat that To Be Fair is producing because the important thing with the To Be Fair mat is if you look at the picture right now, they have really, really high corners on all the sides it's really high up that basically if liquid is coming out that there's no chance for the liquid to get out of the mat and that is really a good thing like i'm liking that however and that is a problem when i'm camping i'm flipping down the back seats and then the corner which is i think this one here is of course still there and then i cannot sleep on the mat because the corner would be like in the middle of my bag. I could not put any mattress on top. So that is not working unless they can put it down, but I haven't heard any information on that. So I decided for a mat that has a yeah, flatter corner that is not so much noticeable when you put an air mattress on it. But now I really hope this mat is flattening out. I also need more space because <laughs> my whole bedroom is filled with all the other mats I'm gonna show you. But that's not all. Like I have ordered one last thing and maybe you know about it or maybe you don't. We have a little box with four, wait, let's, what is the right way? Yeah, 
with four jackpads. And what are jackpads? Well, if we take a closer look, I bring it closer to you guys. These are jackpads and you put them in those holes that you have underneath the car so that you have like a yeah, bigger surface area for your um, car lifting thingy. I was actually struggling if you need them. I was really struggling. To be fair also sells them. But the thing was, to be fair, has cheap ones that are still like, I think they were like 300 crowns. These ones were also around 300 crowns. However, I got discount on them. So I paid like 200 crowns for them. To be fair, also has expensive ones where you get four of this, they are magnetic. So if you put them in the car, they, they will be sticking there. Yeah, but the thing is, and I really still don't know because I haven't changed my tires. I'm gonna, I'm going to like change my tires in a few weeks at a store here. And I don't know if they have things like this, if they maybe have an easier way, but I just want to tell them, okay, please use them. And I hope they will not complain. But yeah, so I think if you're changing your tires alone, one is totally enough. Uh, I think both stores also sell them like at one piece instead of four. But if you are like want to be on the safe side, I don't really know if it's that necessary. Like I really don't know. I cannot give you any answer. Do it or don't do it. So I have them. I feel now on the safe side. Maybe it's a problem that is not even existing because Tesla is not like promoting use things like these. Yeah, for 200 crowns, it's okay. It is okay in my opinion. But that's it. So now I have ordered all the stuff. And I'm gonna show you how my bedroom looks like. It's also a mess, so please don't complain. But down there, there you have it. There are my mats from To Be Fair, laying like this since Monday when I have unwrapped them. But yeah, so that is everything that I have ordered. Let's see how it's going to be in the car. Okay guys, now I finally have time to put in all the mats and all the stuff that I bought during the last week. You can already see the trunk is open. I have the mats in there. So now let's put the stuff out of the trunk, put it where they belong to and make the car winter ready. But of course I'm gonna take you there for with me and not like from this downward perspective. Ah, it really got cold guys, like it's not nice. I actually have already prepared stuff. So there are the mats. So first of all, we have of course the trunk mat. As you can see, I have already placed it in. I really have to say it is perfectly fitting. Like you, I had to go back there, like in the corners and kind of push it down. But now when you do it once, it's stuck there. So that is good. You also have this nice feature that when you pull this, you're gonna just lift the whole mat. It's not like resisting. So that is a good design and you don't have anything for this, but I don't see this as a problem. The mat from To Be Fair would have probably covered the insides here. Down here, I have already installed the mat for the interior thing. There you can see the mat. Uh, yeah, the, well, the rubber mat, to be fair. But guys, I have to be honest, I don't know. I don't really know what to think about this mat. Because yes, it is in there and yes, it keeps the dirt away. But on the other side, if I'm you, I would only buy it if you really want to like put dirty stuff down there. Now it feels a bit not 100% fitting in there. I don't know. I don't really like that it's just like till here and not all the way up here and that you have those grab thingies. Of course, it makes sense to grab it out, but it just doesn't look nice. And you also have gaps here. So that is, in my opinion, not too good. I would have expected a bit more for this down here. Okay, so that's the back. Then, of course, we have to go to the front. Ta-da! You can already see my swimsuit in here. So let's take it out. That is the all-weather mat for the front. Like I already said, this is the cheaper one. It's taking away a bit of the space on the sides due to the corners, but I'm totally fine with that. It is really doing, I hope at least it's really doing what I want. So that is like keeping the wet 
and also sand if I put something like after the beach on here. And now we just basically have the floor mats indoors and the back thingy, like the one for the back sides of the seats. So let's just say, let's start with the back ones before we go to the front. So how does this one go? There's the thing. We basically align it like this, I would say. Uh, it's a bit too high, I guess. I'm not sure about this one. Let's check, maybe I have to redo it. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I have to redo it. No, again, it's not, not. So as you guys can see, hopefully a bit, um, it's really, really annoying to get it on here. At least if you want to do it the proper way. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to install this thing and I have two problems. First problem is it's gonna collide here between the like the mat and that thing. That is, of course, a problem that I caused probably myself because the mat is not from, to be fair. The other problem, however, that I really have is like, like this right up here. Why is the, like the positioning is so wrong. Like this thing is always gonna collide here when you put it in the back up here. So I don't like that, like not at all. I want it a bit more, like it has, it has to be somewhat not straight. That's the problem. Like that's a bit too far, like this basically. Is it now working? Okay, let's try to get the other side before we put them back and then we're gonna see if it's working or if it's not working. This side I have no complaints, so that is good. So now you're gonna see it and then you can make your own decision if you would buy it or not. There you have it. So you have the covers on, you have the back mat and like the idea behind this is really good, the idea that I have. But of course it's gonna be, yeah, conflicting a bit like here it's gonna collide down there you can already see it from just doing it once you have like the line appearing and up there i'm not really sure about that and also not that but yeah we're gonna see this is gonna be a test let's see how long it's gonna live uh, live like that i don't really know if you can see it now but yeah there something looks wrong there guys Ugh. ah no okay it's okay I thought it's something that is wrong, but now it is just the middle part of the of the spag mat. Ah, so okay, guys. So let's install the back mat. There we go. Yeah, that fits already perfect. Already there, nice, nice, nice. So that looks good. Let's get the other side. We move it in here. Push. We align it. Right, this is supposed to be on top of this, okay. Nice, I have to say that looks pretty good. I just hope that the person in the middle is not like ripping this open. There you have it again. To be fair, Matt. Nice. Of course we wanna try out how it feels. Well, of course, slippery. More slippery than um, velour, definitely. But I have to say, they look nice. I'm happy with them. Okay guys, now it's time to install the passengers all matter floor mat. Therefore, again, we remove the velour carpet basically. So let's install it. And we have to move the seat a bit back. There we go. Yeah. Into shape. I think now it's in here installed. Looking good. There you go. You can, of course, already now see my steps in here. But it's installed. I was a bit curious about this corner right there because this one is kind of wobbly if you push down here. But I think that's okay. Like, I don't want to complain about it. It fits really, really good. So that is great. But now let's install the last mat. Okay, guys, I have now prepared the mat with all the sticky thingies so one up here one up here i kept the thing on here because you never know if you have to send it back so i was kind of unsure then one here for the gas pedal side and then two down here i wasn't sure why I don't put them up here but maybe because it's already curved and it's more stable to have it just immediately on the ground i'm not sure but let's move the driver's seat a bit back so now let's see yeah 
Yep. Get in position. I think that's it. That was easy. That was pretty easy. There you go. Driver's seat installation completed. And now that is all. I have installed all the mats. I will definitely give you an update after winter if I think it is worth buying those mats. But for now, what I can already tell you, the indoor mats look pretty good. I really like them because I also bought the premium one. I have no idea how much different the cheaper ones are. If you buy them, it's unfortunately your own gamble. I bought the cheaper one for the franc and I think you can feel a huge difference. I also think the one that you have in the lower trunk thingy is also this cheap material as the one in the franc. If you have the money and you are on a spending mood, go with the premiums for all of them. One thing that I'm still unsure how long living it will be is those back covers for the back seats. I'm just curious about them because I don't know how many times I'm gonna put them down, up, down, up if I go camping. But maybe I'm not doing too much camping in winter, but they will stay there forever. And I also think that I will keep the trunk mat there forever because it's just nice to have some cover on the trunk. However, we are not finished yet. There's one last thing that I, at least I want to see if it works. Of course, I want to check out if those jack pads are actually working. Well, I don't know if they're working, but I want to see if they are fitting. That's like the important thing, of course. And let's see, where's the hole? There's a hole. Where is it? There. So yes, they are fitting. It sticks in there. So maybe you don't even have to go to the magnetic one if you are also kind of scary, like, scared like me, but it fits. I of course don't know how long they are lasting. Okay guys, that is it. That was my video for all the accessories or better said floor mats that I bought for my Tesla Model 3 Highland. Like I said, I'm gonna give you an update after this winter if they are worth their money or not. And also if there will be something like, I will be talking to some customer support, I will tell you everything, how it's working. But I have high hopes for to be fair and maybe they are supporting me. But with that said now, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we're gonna see each other in the next video or somewhere else. But until then, bye bye.